And hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back inside of Minecraft and we are playing from summer to winter 2. This is the second iteration of that, but I have not played the first one. This is made by Tommy Creeper. Uh, enough talking, let's go. Interesting. I take it you just, yeah. Just kind of a Mario style um, level selector. Can't. I'm going to be interested to see how difficult this map get, gets. Um, okay, two points here. Wait, what, what would I... Oh, wait, am I supposed to... Yeah, there we go. And then I'm guessing I can head to here and swim up here. This is how this map's going to be. It's going to be interesting. A lot of confusion over which way to go. But that would be fun. Um, ah, vines. Got slime blocks. So far, this is a pretty nice looking map. I mean, it's nothing super insanely fancy, but it's not bad. I will say, it is interesting that we're parkouring from summer to winter. Like... Like I'm, I'm, I'm more of a winter person than a summer person myself, but I know that most people prefer summer to winter. So I'm kind of surprised that you know that's the direction they took the map. I am right that most people prefer summer, right? That that always seems to be the case. Either that or it's just winter people don't talk as much about seasons. Uh, um. How much height am I going to need for this? Yeah, that's it. Didn't need any height on that one. Just pretty much needed to be over. Okay. Um, Where would I even go from here? Unless I'm supposed to jump to here. And then from here, is there any vines? I don't know, this is kind of weird. I've never played a map that's... Like, as simultaneously small and shouldn't be confusing, but yet, this is actually pretty confusing. Like, what? Where in the world am I supposed to go from here? I didn't see anything when I was up there, but I didn't see anything over here either. Unless we're supposed to try and make it to there, but that seems a bit weird with this leaf block here. Um, is there any hope for that? <laughs> um, I'll take that as a no. Ah. Okay, let's let's let's, let's try that one again. Okay, there we go. Wait, wait, slime blocks, slime blocks. I know what I'm doing, I'm not stupid. Yep. That might be bad though. Come on. That's nice. Over here. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna keep failing this jump apparently. Come on. There we go. And then you come around here and go up from here. And then from this point, there's vines. And then you make it to the end. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. That wasn't too bad. And the pressure plate disappears for ones you've completed, so you can't go back and replay levels. That's fine. Whoosh. So far, this isn't too bad. Like, it's kind of weird for some of them to figure out where you're going like with vines and stuff like that where they very much so blend in with the leaves but besides that the, I don't have any complaints so far and it's definitely not a bad looking map that's for sure and I feel like the jumps are right at the right level where 
They're not difficult, but they're not super easy. And of course they leave a sign there to tell you where to go. Which I always have hope for maps that start out kind of at this point where they're not difficult but they're not easy because normally that means that we'll have a fairly difficult ending to the map which is always an exciting prospect because I like me some difficult parkour. Okay. That was some weird momentum but it worked. Bam. And let's go. Also, guys, I, 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 I don't like to say this, but apparently it works. Oh, level two completed. But if you all enjoyed, do make sure to like um, something about small percentage viewers subscribed. You know, the whole. <laughs> um, should be the, the, the whole deal about, you know, make, make sure to go subscribe. Ah, that. Oh, it, it hurts me so much to ask for subscribers. Like, the thing about it is I get that people don't really mind anymore. But, like, I, I, I still remember, like, I still remember when it was annoying for people to ask. And, like, that, that was the time frame that I was most into watching YouTube. Was the time frame when people started to ask for subscribers. And, it, like, at the time, it was really obnoxious and everybody hated it when people did that and now 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 it's hit the point where like people don't really mind anymore and you kind of have to ask for subs if you want to you know be successful or whatnot it's just something that's really weird for me just because i very much so came from that point in time where it was you know seen as a very sellout move to ask for subscribers so it's just something that'll take me a bit to get used to oh I finally had it come on that is a difficult jump to make okay there we go just not fall before a checkpoint because I don't want to have to do that jump again. <sighs> Would have been so funny if I fell on that jump before that checkpoint. I mean, it would have been funny for you guys. It would have been painful for me. Weird honey jumps. Honey jumps always weird me out so much. They're just something, I don't know. But I'm never quite sure how I feel about like sometimes they're plenty easy enough but other times they're just insanely difficult and very painful ooh that's a bit far mm, I messed up my mo force momentum maybe I need to just chill out with force momentuming jumps and just kind of go for them. Like, I get it's a bit more difficult if you don't do it. But, like, maybe I should just learn to do it without. Might make my life easier just from the standpoint of even if the jumps are more difficult in and of themselves. I won't be messing up my force momentum so often. It'd be nice if I could just, like, actually jump, though. That would be a good place to start in terms of improvement <laughs> like seriously okay there we go now we got another one of these slime blocks I can pr okay there we go <laughs> probably make it from there yep all is well and we're getting to snowy areas already we're only you know we're halfway through the map I guess it kind of makes sense there wasn't really much of a fall area though which I feel cheated about because fall is my favorite um, season. Not because of the festivities or whatnot, but just because, like, you get that point where, at least in Iowa, you, you, you hit a point where stuff's starting to finally cool off 
after it's been, you know, a summer of pretty much constant 90 degrees and above, you finally get to cool off, you know, you start getting those nights that are around 30 degrees and, you know, it gives a good transition into winter where everything's going to be like negative 40. <laughs> Okay, the negative forty was a bit of an exaggeration, but like, still, it's 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 pretty bad. We we get very extreme weather both ways. Like, I I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and it's like, you know, in, in the case of Iowa weather, like, we don't get cold as bad as you know they get in a lot of places like Canada and stuff like that. Our cold isn't as bad, and our heat isn't as bad as you know places like Arizona obviously but like it's at a point where we have to deal with temperatures that sometimes get almost as hot as you know some of the worst stuff in places like Arizona and then we get weather that gets pretty much as cold as some of the worst places in a lot of Canada and then it's like you know oh am I supposed to just jump from here oh my goodness that's so much easier so then, you know, even if we don't get as bad as some of those places overall, it does, you know, kind of hit a point where, I don't know, it's just it's so extreme to both ends without quite being the worst of the extreme, but still bad enough that, you know. It stinks to have that switch back and forth so often, especially since, like, we, we, we don't get too much of a fall. Fall lasts only for a week or two before it just gets cold. <laughs> and kind of the same thing with spring, where it only lasts for a couple weeks before it just gets hot. So, yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. Just in general, weather is weird. It's annoying how much everything changes because you get accustomed to one thing and then it switches to the other. Which I guess is why people like living in coastal areas so much because you get a lot more consistency by the ocean. Weather-wise. But then every once in a while you get like, you know, a random typhoon or <laughs> hurricane. It's not exactly the best side effects. Okay, level complete. Anyway, enough talking about weather. Weather is boring. <laughs> we got, it looks like two levels, possibly three left. They might, I'm, I'm not sure if the last level, the last iron block doesn't have a pressure plate on it because you're supposed to um, wait until you've completed all the other levels or if it doesn't have a check pressure plate because of some other reason where in the oh up here that was a bit confusing ah that stinks I fell off I was kind of hoping I was going to like land on a ledge that you know I'd be able to easily make it back up but nah the game's not going to be that forgiven to me I will say, I've been pretty happy with how all the other levels look. This one's kind of, at least so far, pretty ugly. Like, just kind of the, just the stone with snow on top of it. Just isn't a good look, in my opinion. I find that blocks like stone can work well as the main block for a build, but you have to have very specific accents for it that were oh it said to turn around not end around um, okay that's fine <laughs> based off of stuff like that though and the map creator only having you know one block partitions between stuff I do expect that the map's going to 
not have an end around in any of the future levels. It seems unlikely. Okay, yeah. There's no way I was making this two block Neo while just standing. Um, ah, here we go. And back up. Cool, cool. And we're off of the mountain. It would really stink if I died before I got a checkpoint. And I always feel like I'm guaranteed to jinx myself when I say those sort of things, but then sometimes I just don't. And I really appreciate it when, you know, that happens. I actually feel like I've been jinxing myself a lot less lately. Like, I've still been saying stuff that should be jinxing myself. And, like, talking about how certain parkour is easy and stuff, which normally causes me to immediately fall. But, like, it hasn't been happening a lot, as much lately. Like, maybe it's just a matter of... I've been doing so much talking in general that, like from a mental standpoint like when I say that something's easy and stuff like that it's not really affecting how I'm going about doing it now maybe perhaps it's possible I don't know weird thought it's possible but also I mean like Sort of things never worked for me in the past. <laughs> so why would it start working now? Because like with, with stuff like jinxing, I, I almost guarantee there's a scientific reason why like when you say something like that, you end up doing worse afterwards and jinxing yourself. The, the one thing that is confusing is, like, for example, in sports, like, a lot of times when a commentator will say, for example, that a player is about to beat a record, they immediately do something that, you know, what was a mistake that is not very characteristic of them to make. Like... So I'm I'm an American football fan, so like that's the first thing I'll think of. But like Mason Crosby, the Green Bay Packers kicker, was about to break some record for kicking. And then like the commentators mentioned it, they made a big deal about it, and then he proceeded to miss um like five four or five kicks that game. Which is just insane. Like, that that's not the sort of thing which commonly happens. So, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you know. It, it's really weird that, you know, he happened to start missing right after the commentators mentioned that he's about to break the streak. Now, the other th thing to keep in mind for that sort of stuff is, though, like, the, the players themselves most of the time know... That they're about to break a record, so, like, you know, in to some degree it might legit just be, you know, the nerves from being about to beat a record. Boom. Okay, we got one more, and then whatever the final level is. Oh, there is a pressure plate on. It's just an iron pressure plate. We are almost done, and I immediately jumped over that. I will say, I, I am a little disappointed so far. Like, the parkour hasn't gotten quite as difficult as I was kind of hoping it would. Of course, now I'm failing this jump. Although I was failing it before I said anything. But yeah, like, the, the parkour still hasn't hit, like, a difficult point. I kind of hope that the last level is fairly difficult. Whew! That was close. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I enjoy difficult parkour. It's frustrating if, you know, you're taking on too much difficult parkour, especially in a setting where you don't expect the parkour to be really difficult. But, still. Okay. Okay. 
still, like, I, I feel like... I, I, I want to do more difficult parkour. It's just a matter of... Uh, when difficult parkour is set up in a way where it's a l just a ton of difficult parkour across the entire course of a map, I find that it gets a bit painful to, you know, just go through and do a map completely full of difficult parkour. Oh, that stinks. Like, it kind of has to be mixed in with easier parkour, in my opinion. But the other thing to keep in mind is, like, I, I've done enough parkour now that, you know, my idea of what difficult parkour is would come completely different from somebody that, you know, plays parkour more casually. And the m maps being made for ma maps that are made for more casual players ultimately are going to do better because there's more casual players than, you know, serious players. So, yeah, I don't know. Just a weird thought. It's also really interesting for me to, like, notice some of the differences between people that play parkour more casually and people who, you know, are a bit more at my point. And then people that are, you know, above that and better. <laughs> but, like, for example, if I skip a single jump in a map, like, if I do anything to skip a jump, then I don't feel like I actually beat the map, right? Like, I, I still feel like I haven't beat... Um, I think it's parkour everything one or was it two no it was one that had all the mine carts yeah because i you know ultimately had to skip back to the end i feel like i still haven't beat that map and i you know still kind of want to go back and give it another shot whereas like you know when i talk to people who play parkour a bit more casually like they can skip a couple levels and still feel like oh that appears and disappears they can skip a couple levels and still feel like they beat a parkour map. It's just a really interesting... Um, what would be the word? I don't know. Like, it's, it's just really interesting to me because I'm not, you know... Used to that idea that like, oh, you played through most of the map but not all of it. You didn't, you know, in my opinion, that wouldn't be beating a map. But when I was worse at parkour, like when I was first starting out, that 100% would have been beating a map. Like, you know, I, I might have had to use a couple skips here and there, but I still won in the end. So, like, you know, I, I beat the map. That's kind of how I'd feel about it back then. So, yeah. I don't know. It's. it's it's really interesting. And also, like, you know, I very much so don't like to use any form of cheat, probably because of that, unless I absolutely have to to get through a parkour map. And if I'm playing by myself, I'm more likely to just be like, eh, I'm, I'm just not going to beat the map if, you know, there's a difficult jump that I can't get past. Whereas if I'm doing it for a video and it's a really difficult jump that I can't get past, it's a bit more likely that I'll be like, all right, we're going to skip this level for the video. So then that way we can, you know, make it further. I also haven't done a lot of just on my own parkour lately. Mostly because I guess I haven't, like, I, I've been, no, it's not that I haven't been doing something. I've been doing enough, um. parkour on camera that I have been doing a decent amount of parkour so as a result oh, oh, that stinks. I haven't really felt the need to go practice parkour on my own Whoosh. okay nice 
Whereas, like, you know, if I'm not doing any parkour at all, and, you know, I'm still wanting to get better at parkour, then I will go play a bunch of parkour on my own, even if I'm not recording. And sometimes I'll, you know, like, get on a parkour map server with my, with a friend and, you know, do something. Like, me and Riptide do that from time to time whenever he is feeling like playing parkour, which is very insanely rare. But it happens. Boom. Ah. This hill is going to be the death of me. Not because of the hill itself. The hill itself isn't all that difficult. But just because of the <laughs> one jump after the hill that I keep falling. And then I have to redo all this. We are almost to the map though. Looks like a pretty good time map. Looks like I'm going to have finished in about half an hour or so. Okay. So yeah. Like, parkour is such a fun thing to do. And it's... You know, that, that's a large part of why I've been posting so much parkour. It's just because it's so much fun. But, like, I also... Like, I, I want to find other stuff that I can do for my channel. Besides just parkour. Just because I feel like I've been... Committing a bit too much to the parkour. If you know what I mean. Like, I want to... Spread out what I'm doing a bit more on my channel. Oh. Oh, that's just the end. I thought there was going to be one more level. Hey, we completed the map. And now we're falling endlessly? What? Oh, we're back here. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, on that note, if anybody has any suggestions for other stuff I can do, obviously let me know. I'm always interested to hear what people have. I kind of want to do a Q&A for either 400 or 500 subscribers. We'll see how I'm feeling around when we hit 400 subscribers and if I want to hold off to 500 to do something like that but yeah so d for anything like a QA, and a if you have questions join the discord server and you know if I'm doing a QA, and a I'll ask for questions there but anyway guys sorry my voice is starting to die <laughs> um thank you all so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed I'll see you all in the next one god bless bye bye